Brittany, I spoke to two registered independents here in the state of New Mexico, and they say this election was more than just politics. It was about the character of the candidates. Nicholas Rosari and Robert Chavez, both registered independent voters. I never really felt that I needed to identify as a Republican or Democrat. I'm just that kind of person. When I registered for the first time, I registered as independent. Making a tough decision on who to vote for this 2020 election. I did my research on the internet on questions they ask on the, during the debates. Chavez says he's voted Republican more times than not. And in 2016, he voted third party. But this year, I voted for a Democrat. He says he's learned a lot these last four years with President Donald Trump in office and thought this election was about more than just policy. For decency and, and for just the, the country temperature, uh, I thought Biden would bring it down. Rosari, who did not disclose who he voted for, says he did a lot of research and talked to people on both sides, Democrats and Republicans. As new information comes in every day, and I also want to feel confident about my choice. And I want to look at like all top, all different kinds of topics. So it takes time to decide on which, which situation is best for America. According to the New Mexico Secretary of State, more than 21% of New Mexicans are registered as independent or no party affiliation and more than 6,700 of them, including Rosari and Chavez, voted, either absentee, in person, or on election day. It's one way we get to voice our opinion or, or show our, our support and that our involvement with our country. No matter who they voted for, both say they hope that President-elect Joe Biden can bring this country back together after years of division. In Albuquerque, Shelley Leggett, KOAT Action 7 News.